Would you be shocked if I told you tomorrow would be below normal? And would you be shocked if I told you there would be some snow for the morning commute on Tuesday? I'm going to go ahead and say probably not, but would you be shocked if I told you it will be milder and above normal for the end of the week? Perhaps. Perhaps yes, and that is the trend. We will be milder by the end of the week, but we have to get there first. Right now on Storm Tracker radar, there are some snow showers, and they are on I-84 from the valley out towards Danbury, the darker shade of blue right here. You're seeing a long Route 8. That's some light snow, a ground coating, dusting at worst. And here's I-95 from Trumbull down to Norwalk, Stamford, and Greenwich seeing some light snow right now. Again, we are not looking for any kind of major accumulation, but there can be some slick spots this evening as we are in the 20s. And take a look, you can see that light snow right now, and it is still gusty. Winds around. 14, 15 miles per hour. Waterbury and Oxford, Danbury seeing that light snow too at 23 degrees. So certainly cold enough for it to snow. All right, let's go hour by hour. Once the snow showers leave this evening, we are clear overnight and that'll send us down between zero and 10 above for that overnight low. But we are wall to wall sunshine tomorrow. It is going to be a bright and blue but brisk day tomorrow and the clouds ramp up overnight Monday into Tuesday morning. Seeing some blue. That's snow, and that's just in time for the morning commute Tuesday. Right now, it's looking like a general one to three statewide. This is an early call, our first call. And if anything changes, we will fine tune that forecast. But it looks like a one to three low to moderate impact, only moderate because of the timing for the morning commute on Tuesday. Temperature trend normal for the week ahead is 38. Check this out. I almost have to like do a double check and rub my eyes getting above normal. We will be in the mid 40s on Friday. It comes at a price though. It comes with some rain where it's snowing lightly right now in Fairfield County. We are in the low to mid 20s. Rest of the state mainly in the 20s from 28 in the state's capital. 20 the cold spot in Torrington. Chester checks in at 28 and it is 29 right now at Tweed Airport in New Haven. Zero inland overnight. 10 on the shoreline. The flurries are out of here by about 9 or 10 o'clock. Skies clear and that's when we drop and drop like a rock. For tomorrow morning, some sunshine, some clouds. It's still on the cold side between 10 and 15. Clouds melt away. It's apartment 3B tomorrow. Bright, brisk, and blue. We should be at 38. We'll only be at 28 for the Monday high temperature. Here's your eight day forecast. Snow moves in for Tuesday during the morning commute. It should be fine for the evening commute. We'll be above freezing and the snow will be out of here by then. And look at the moderating trend back into the mid 40s. It's been a long time since we've been able to say that. There are a whole lot of crooked numbers we have not seen in that eight day forecast. A lot of fours, numbers starting with fours, double digit numbers starting with fours, and we certainly like that. Friday, it looks to be a wet day, and I won't even focus on next Monday as we're back into the freezer again. But you know what? It's going to be a thaw next week. We deserve it, and you know what? Save every bit of it. It'll feel good, 45. Good, good. Yes, I can't wait. The big meltdown is here. Finally, but let's get through the next couple of days where we've got cold temperatures tomorrow and a round of light snow for the morning commute on Tuesday. I know you'll be watching it. Thanks we so much, are. Justin. Yep. Well, stick around. John Pearson is coming up next with the latest on another win for UConn. Stay with us.